Hi there, it's DJB, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to remove parts and make cuts to your Briar model horse. Drastic customizing is a very popular choice among collectors and customizers alike, but in order to do this, you have to remove a lot of the original plastic. You have to sand down the model's imperfections. This is how I use a Dremel to make these cuts. For me personally, I have a Mastercraft rotary tool, and this is not a Dremel brand, but it works the same as a Dremel. For this video, I was using just cheap off-brand sanding drums that I purchased off of Amazon, but recently I reached out and spent the money to buy Dremel brand products. I use the Dremel Easy Lock sanding drum and an Easy Lock mandrel with a metal cutting wheel. The little sandpaper thin ones, never use these. They're super dangerous. They won't cut through plastic. They will completely shatter and go flying and you can risk it embedding into your skin. Always make sure you have a reinforced proper cutting wheel designed for plastic and or metal. You also want to make sure that your lungs are protected when sanding briars down. So I use the 3M respirator mask with 2097 P100 particle filters. Make sure to wear safety glasses and I use a nitrile work glove to protect my hands. I also recommend using long sleeves. The plastic is hot and it goes flying and you don't want to burn yourself. So this particular Marwari, I will be cutting off his mane and tail and his ears as well. So I use a combination of the sanding drum and the cutting wheel depending what I'm doing. So you can use the cutting wheel on places like the tail and the sanding drum for sanding down the entire mane. I've also had success just completely sanding the ears off with just the sanding drum. The Dremel will smoke, this is normal, but it smells really bad. So you probably wanna do it in a well-ventilated area and you definitely wanna be wearing a respirator mask. Now I just use small strokes. I try not to strain the Dremel too much. So don't wear on one part, the plastic will ball up and cause the Dremel some stress. So you just kind of move along slowly. I find that the Dremel works better on a lower speed versus a higher speed. I find you get more control and it works the same. It takes a little bit longer to sand things down, but at least it's a little more consistent. Now here you see me using the cutting wheel to remove the tail. Uh, this tail is fastened to the butt of the horse, so I'm gonna cut the base of it and cut off that side of the tail that's touching the model. And then afterwards, we'll go back in with the sanding drum and just sand down what was left from removing the tail. So there you have your completed model that's ready for new hair, new life. So here's another example, the Marabella mold. And with her, I wanted to completely remove her face. So same process, we just sand down slowly. Now these Dremel-based sanding drums work really well for this. There's two sizes of sanding drums you can get, a quarter inch diameter and a half inch diameter. And I recommend having both of these just so that you have more control and more size variable. Thing if you're trying to get into small crevices, obviously the quarter inch diameter is a lot easier. And for larger surfaces like sanding down the face or sanding down the entirety of the model, half inch diameter is for sure better. So here I'm just gonna let the video play of this process of removing these parts from this Marabella mold. I also did this on a Mary Legs mold. So this is a process of sanding down the entire model 
and just using the same tactic as before you're just gonna sand down everything and this gives me a fresh base to start the sculpture on top of I also had a the desperado model that I wanted to do the same with so I wanted to chop out his neck I wanted to remove his stallion parts and a variety of different things of this sculpture that I did not like so I wanted to completely redo it very careful about using the Dremel it is a power tool it's dangerous you can hurt yourself so just going slow and learning how to do it I don't always use the Dremel for certain things. I find the cutting wheel hard to control. I find it destroys more of the plastic than I want it to. I find using the sanding drum in certain cases isn't always easier. I find working on stable mates, it is harder to use a Dremel because the Dremel is so fast and will take so much plastic very quickly and you don't always want that to happen. So I actually do use a mini hacksaw. So here you see me cutting the tail off of my Mary Legs mold and this was before the times when I was smart and realized that you could use a vise. So you can just hold the model and use a hacksaw. You work out your arm muscles pretty good. <laughs> so I actually recently purchased a mini vise. I just attached that to a stool I have and you can just stick your model in this vise and saw away and it works way better to hold the model still. This makes a more precise cut and I definitely use this in lots of situations. I like to cut off the ears this way, I like to cut off stable mate manes and tails this way, stable mate heads, stable mate legs. Um, I work with this a lot in the stable mate scale. In the traditional scale I also like doing it because it's a little more precise for certain models. So like this lady phase, if I was to use a cutting wheel it would probably go crazy and chop off most of her butt. So I wanted to keep more of her but just using the hacksaw was easier. So this is also a way to do it. When you finish cutting off the part, you can use the Dremel to sand down the portion that is a little bit rough. I highly recommend getting a Dremel. It's a universal tool. It works really well. It makes the process go a lot quicker than hand sanding. Thank you so much for watching and happy Dremeling. Please subscribe for weekly Wednesday uploads. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DJB Studios. Check out my website and sign up to my newsletter to be the first to know about commissions, tutorials, and sales pieces. All of the tools used in this video are in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to message me.